Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make a poor man glue pot right here on the Old Ted channel. You're going to need a mason jar, a chip brush, a tube of Propoxy 20, your Dremel, and a ceramic cutting wheel. Now we got these tools, let's get started. Well, the first thing we need to do is decide the depth of our brush. So what we need to do is take the lid off and position our brush. Now we realize that the, we want to use this as a glue pot. What I like to do is adjust the uh, bristles in the brush. So you don't want it to touch the bottom. You want to kind of float, I'd say like about half an inch above. So I'm going to take my Sharpie, make my mark, and that's where it's going to live on my lid. But we realize to cut the lid, it's going to have to be this width. So I'm going to do the measurements for the width from the thickest part on my chip brush and cut a hole in my lid. So let's go ahead and measure that out. All right, I went ahead and figured out the, uh, the dimensions on the lid to be cut out from my handle on the brush. As we're going to get ready to cut with the ceramic wheel, safety is the key. So you do not forget to wear your safety glasses and your particle mask. All right, now that we have the hole cut out, I'm going to fit the handle in here. And remember, this is the desired depth we have for the brush. So this is where we want it to live. But to keep this in place, this is where we're going to use a little bit of our propoxy putty. I cut a little chunk of this. And before I do this, I like to put on some rubber gloves. Take the putty and let's knead it up. All right, as you can see, I like to mix the propoxy so it's nice and even, solid color gray. And this is where we apply it around the base of our brush. Now, in the old days, I used to do this with hot glue. I used to get high temp hot glue and put around the, the handle of my brush and over the wide I discovered that uh, the vapors from the contact cement would actually eat the hot glue. So to guarantee that that's not going to happen, we're gonna do it with Propoxy 20. All right, now we got the Propoxy on the top. I take a little bit of Propoxy 2 and put it on the bottom as well. So it makes sure you get a good seal on the top and I kind of push through and take a little bit of excess and put it on the bottom. So you get a really good guaranteed seal. Make sure this is the depth where I like it. Looks good. Let's go ahead and wait 20 minutes for this to dry. 20 minutes later, the propoxy, the top and the bottom are dried and secure. This brush doesn't go anywhere. And when you're applying with your glue, you can dip in here, put it under your foam. When you're not using it, you close the lid, which keeps the harmful vapors in your, in your face and from drying out. And when you're done for storage, you put the lid on nice and snug and it prevents it from drying out. That's how you make a poor man glue pot. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, I have complete supply list below my videos, and you can go to my website, evilpetsmith.com, where I have numerous patterns for sale, complete supply list, and I stream live on twitch.tv slash evilpetsmith Mondays and Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also stream live on Thursdays from noon to 2, uh, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Also, I'm going to let you guys know I will be at EpicCon in Frankfurt, Germany, December 9th to the 11th. I'm extremely excited about that. I'll be there. And for next year, I will be at Emerald City Con with my buddy Bill and Britt Duran from Punish Props. I'm looking forward to that. I won't have a table, but I'll be there dressing up and walking around just meeting people. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Channel.